Well, hey guys, uh, another part here working on the grasshopper. I was just kind of going through my video from the other day there and figured I should probably do an update. Uh, Baron kits did arrive. I actually got a whole pack of them. Um, there's all kinds of them. M06. Uh, found a guy on eBay. He had good prices. Bought a whole pile of them. So I, I obviously I stripped down the grasshopper. Um, still got the original body. Haven't done anything that way yet. Um, I had the transmission all apart. And I just put it back together before I realized I should have filmed some of that. But as you can see from the page here, you didn't miss much. All I did was replace like these bearings here. There's a bearing in the, that end, bearing in that end, and some in here at each end of the shafts. All you did was uh, use the screwdriver here from the Tamiya little parts uh, tool set and punched all these little guys out. So that's that really little tiny bearing that is right there in that end. The rest of these are just standard bearing sizes. They all fit in there nicely. So in the everything on here that's got the darker color, you're supposed to lube. So I took some uh, Cal RC Utter Butter and did all that. I know it wants you just to do um, a silicone spray, but I figured this will probably last longer. Uh, I put the HPI Racing 15 turn motor in there, 540 series. So this thing's going to cook. <laughs> um, I haven't put the wheel nuts back on or anything like that yet. Um, I'm going to work on trying to get everything back together into the frame here. Um, you can see there's the top of the shocks. I got to take these things apart and put the proper, put the proper springs into here. Cause these things are so tight. Like they don't move. I got to figure out what's going on with that somewhere here. There it is. Came with a whole bag of springs and some extra, uh, I think these are body screws or something like that. And most of these are screws from um, taking the electronics, the the old speed controllers and stuff off. On off switch, a um, couple spacers that were underneath the, I think the speed controller. These go on the end of this, into the back side of the chassis there. So I just got to get that all buttoned up and then this thing should be good to go. Glad I got the original manual, even though it's kind of, it's kind of tattered. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's just a keepsake thing now. Well, onto the springs. I'll try to get that figured out and get that into the back of that. Oh, okay guys. So a few hours later here, I finally got everything back together. Uh, I got the proper springs in there. It actually has some flex to it now, which is really nice. I have the uh, servo mounted firmly in there. Uh, it now has all the proper size connections. This is my basic layout of where the electronics will go. There's originally this big hole here because to me, I had a six cell hump pack, five cells long and then one in the middle that you put up from the bottom end of there. And that's where the hump would be, which would be underneath. Um, there was a servo yeah, here somewhere, I think it was. And then the speed controller sat on top of this that was mechanically operated by that servo with the servo in the front here. So I'm going to mount the speed controller in the back, which is just your Hobby King. Well, 45 amp it's a brushed ESC with a Tamiya N. The Hobby King, um, what is this, uh, TR6A version 2, so that'll sit up there and that'll leave me room to slide underneath there and hopefully be able to fit a regular size battery pack in there. And when that battery is in place, hopefully there's enough room to slide it underneath there. Um, a lot of the guys with the old school uh, cars, because they had that shorter pack with the one hump in the middle, they are running uh, two cell lipos that are a little bit smaller, I guess, than a six cell 7.2, which uh, this speed controller works fine with lipos. I use it in my trucks and everything. And well, hopefully it'll be, it'll be safe to use in this thing. Um, I did notice a couple times when putting this thing together, uh, especially like in the 
rear axle housing. A couple of the screws just kind of spin. Uh, I'm hoping with the light use and mostly shelf life that this thing will have that it won't be a problem. Uh, my door is in good shape. There's a, on the bottom where this door goes into. Some guys have been adding. Let's see if I can get this in there one handed. Uh, well, okay, it helps if I put it in the, the right way up. But it slides in the slots and goes up here. And then they're taking one of these screws out and they're making one of the old fashioned uh, toy things where it just like slides over and then it locks that door in a place so they don't lose it when they're driving and the battery falls out. Would be a little um, embarrassing on a competition thing for sure. Uh, the old power switch. Now, the original one had this nice thing with the on off. But unfortunately, that doesn't line up with the same, um, where is it here? The same width apart as this one has. And then the screws go right through it. So I will have to find some, I believe it's just two millimeter hard, hardware. If you focus on there. So I might be able to put a couple nuts on behind there. I got a great big bag of Tamiya stuff at home that I got from Semi Joe's a long time ago with a lot of great parts in there. Some double-sided tape. Where are you? Double-sided tape. And it should be good to go. I can even put lights in this thing if I want. I got the body clips. That's all the plastic parts that I replaced out of this thing. So I should be good to go. Next will be the body, but that'll be another day. I haven't decided if I'm going to paint it or what I'm going to do. It's still, right now, brand new in the bag. I got to look up. Uh, there is like the headlights and the little driver guy. It's still Those are still on the old body. I should be able to use those and give it some authentic looking, right? Uh, so there we go. A little update on the grasshopper. We'll catch you guys next time. Let me know what you think of this old guy. Letters.